correctly. So let's see how to mount an ISO file into a USB drive on a Mac system. So first up, uh, let's make sure that you have actually inserted the USB drive on your Mac system. So mine is over here. This is the 16 GB one. And uh, so from what I've seen, uh, there are no actually third party tools available online for a Mac system in order to mount an ISO file to a USB drive. So I think you've got to use only the terminal that is available on the Mac. So let's see how it goes. So let's first open the uh, terminal on the launch pad. Probably uh, expand it for the sake of better visibility. So here you go. So first up, you've got to type the disk util list. To get the list of sorry to get the list of disks available both internal as well as external so as you can see you can find both internal as well as external hard disks available here and you've got to make sure that uh, your particular inserted USB drive is also available which is this one so make sure that you actually make a note of this the disk number which is disk 3 for this particular 16 GB USB drive which, which we'll be using uh, later down the line so minus disk 3 here so now let's uh, unmount the USB drive first So yeah, as you can see, the unmount is actually done successfully. Now let's copy the contents of uh, the ISO file, which is actually available on my desktop. I'll probably show it to you once, where exactly it is. So here it is, this is the one, Windows 8 Pro.ISO. This is what I'm going to copy to the USB drive. And this is the command for that. You basically have to give the location of your uh, ISO file. It's on my desktop for my case. So this is the command that you've got to enter and now enter the admin password which you use to log into your Mac system. So that's about it actually. This will actually take a lot of time, say probably 5 to 10 minutes for a 4GB file to get copied to the USB drive. So let's wait until then. Let's see how it goes. as you can see let me just expand it again the ISO file has been successfully copied to our USB drive well it's actually taken 494 seconds and I'm sorry I'm actually I've actually missed out to tell you one more thing <coughs> which is actually this particular thing R over here so this you can actually add it to your command just to speed up the process it is not going to affect the copying process anyway but if you want to really speed up the process please include this R as well as this one BS is equal to 1M so these two these two elements are only to speed up the process so that's about it actually 
now you've got to eject the USB drive and this is how it is yeah it's now ejected successfully so let's now check our 16 GB USB drive it's been done successfully well yes here it is the ISO file has been successfully mounted to the uh, USB drive that I had inserted on our Mac system. So that's about it. Thank you very much.